Good morning, Double Your Ross. Today is Tuesday, March the 28th, 2017. Since today is Tuesday, there will be a student council rep meeting at 12.15. Be there. Sip chips will be sold in Miss Dell's room tomorrow. So bring your money because sip chips are awesome. Next, we have an improv announcement. Do you want to be part of the competitive improv team next year? Do you enjoy acting, working together with friends, and having fun? Well, we have the perfect activity for you. Come join us Tuesdays at 12.15 in the auditorium for some fun improv games and exercises. Even if you don't want to be on the team, there's still lots of things you can do, and it'll be a lot of fun. So come join us. Remember, Tuesdays, 12.15 in the auditorium. Tuesdays, 12.15, in the auditorium. See you all there. Audio. And this is an announcement from Ms. Greaser. If you would like to raise money, or do you want to raise money for our local police officers and firefighters? Do you want to win a chance to get to give a staff a pie in the face? Well, on Wednesday and Thursday at lunch from o in front of o and at 12.10, the grade fives will be collecting money for a pie-in-the-face challenge. The teachers, teacher or staff with the most and the least amount of money will receive a pie-in-the-face at the elementary assembly on Friday, March 31st. The following individuals have been nominated. Mr. Majacomo, Ms. Moore, Ms. Greaser, Ms. Trombley, Ms. Oliver, Ms. Amiot, Ms. Plant, Ms. Parker, Ms. B, Ms. Thompson, Miss Wilson, Miss McPhee, Miss Walgrave, Miss DeBoer, and the one student, Logan. Up next, we have sports. Here is your weekly senior residence basketball league update with Scoop Reed, Lefty List, Hometown Harris, and Microphone Brewers. Good morning, sports fans. This is Hometown Harris with your morning sports report. Action continues to heat up in the Senior Residence Basketball League. Last night, the Celtics defeated the Hawks in a high-scoring affair by a score of 58-49. to Josh C. led the Celtics in scoring with 22 points. Ethan L. added 16 points. Alex A. had 11 points. Nader I. had 6 points. Cooper S. 3 points. And Moshe H. chipped in with 2. Defensively, Michelle B, Sura A, and rookie Pierre L were outstanding for the Celtics. With the victory, the Celtics clinched a spot in the playoffs. Kyle G was a one-man scoring machine for the Hawks, making it rain for 41 points. Francis R added four points, Logan L scored two points, and Emma R, fresh off getting off the plane from Ottawa, where she was a standout at the Provincial Goalball Championships, continued her scoring streak by adding two points. Madison C. and Emma M. also played well for the Hawks. In other sports news, the AA Goalball Finals will be played tomorrow night in the Otterdome. The bronze medal match between the Jackson 8 and the High Ballers will start at 7.30. And the grand final between Team Peanut Butter and Slow Jam and the Music Notes will start at 8 o'clock. League Commissioner Mr. Mannon tells me that he is negotiating a live stream of the game on TSN Go for fans who are unable to attend or unable to get tickets, as the game will definitely be sold out. My fellow sports reporters Lefty Liss and Scoop Reed will be there to report the action, and I will be on the air Thursday morning to bring you the game update. That's it for sports. I'm Hometown Harris, and I am out of here. For your environment Canada weather forecast today, it looks like we'll reach a high of 13 degrees outside. It'll be cloudy throughout the day with a 30% chance of showers through the morning and then into the afternoon it'll clear up and become a mix of sun and cloud. Winds will be coming lightly out of the north of twi- at 20 kilometers an hour, gusting up to 40 kilometers an hour this morning. UV index will be 4 or moderate. Tonight we'll be going down to a low of minus 1, so below 0. And it'll be a few clouds, winds from the north at 20, still gusting up to 40. 
and the winds will become light this evening, low minus one. Currently it is already four degrees outside. Winds at thirty three kilometers an hour from the north northwest, and the sun will set at seven thirty nine p.m. Looking outside, it's mainly overcast right now. Looks like it might have just finished up raining through the night, and it's starting to dry up. But if you're heading out today, maybe wear a light jacket or something. But it looks like it's going to be a great day. Anyways, back over to you, Sheena. Yes, looks like the weather will be good today. Enjoy it while it lasts. And that's all for your announcements today. Have a terrific Tuesday.